please welcome Jack Ma. brings you to Detroit? I've been expecting this day for a long, long time. When I started my business, I tried to um, sell my products, ideas, and uh, to the outside of the world, especially I have a lot of friends who do import-export. They're all small business. Ten years ago, they could not go because they don't have a visa, they don't have money, they don't have this, they don't have that. And I said, someday I hope Alibaba can build up a platform that all the small business can sell across the board easily, efficiently, and cheaply. And I told the people at that time, I say, if you miss the opportunity of selling your products to the world, to the USA, to the Europe, you may miss the chance. And today I want to tell the people that uh, if you miss the opportunity of selling your products to China, you will miss the opportunity, you will miss the future. Next year, China will be a larger market than all other markets combined. The single biggest market in the world. When I started my business in 1995, it was very difficult. I had an idea, I invited 24 of my friends to my apartment because that year I went to Seattle, first time, my first trip to the USA. In Seattle, I discovered internet. And I think this thing in the future may change the world. A friend of mine, he had a small office with like a four or five computers. I never touched computer in my life before because computer was so expensive to me and so complicated. But my friend said, this is internet. Just to type in whatever word, you want to type, I said, no, 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 too expensive. I don't know which one to do. Even now, I don't know how a computer works. They said, Jack, it's not a bomb, just a type of whatever. So the first word I typed in was a beer. B-E-I, beer, I don't drink, I don't know why I type a beer. I found American beer, German beer, Japanese beer, no China. So I typed the word China. There's no information about China. What if we can make some China information on the internet? Let people know about China. So that was the idea. So I came back to China and say, I want to resign from my school. I've been teaching in the university for six years. I invite 24 of my friends to my apartment. After two hours of explaining what I'm going to do, internet. And 23 of them say, forget it. He said, this thing never worked because there's no such thing called internet in the world. You know nothing about a computer. So why you want to do this? Only one people, he said, Jack, if you want to try it, just to try it. But if there's something wrong, just come back. I choose those people who give me the trust because it's the trust that make me united. I think 18 founders, they trust me. Because they trust me, I have to be very loyal to, to them and loyal to the mission that, uh, that we have. I think a lot of entrepreneurs have know that I hate people work for me. I want people work for the mission that we agreed together. When people trusting in you, that's the most valuable things. China has changed. Think back in 1995 when you were in Seattle, 99 when you started Alibaba, and today in 2017. Well, when I went back to China in 1995, with an idea of the internet was very strange. China was not connected to the internet. So I tried to talk to a lot of my friends that what is internet? Nobody said, ah, this thing never worked. This thing never exists. 
But people even say Jack is a liar because he's trying to steal money from people telling us there is an internet. When I go to the China Red Company Registration Office, I said I want to register a company called Hanzo Hope Internet Company. <laughs> the guy looked at me and said, this is the English dictionary. Tell me there's no, there's no word called the internet. Why you want to register a company called the internet? So I cannot register the name, a company name. In 1995, China was connected to the internet. I was number seven person connected to the China internet. I invited my friend who is a TV man. Take the TV camera, they all stay in my home. It took us three hours and a half to download the first front of the page. Yeah. So how big is Alibaba today? From 1999, we have 18 founders, to now we have close to 60,000 people. Our sales, uh, called GMV last year, is over 550 billion US dollars. And uh, it's just the beginning. We will probably go across uh, 1 trillion US dollars in three years. Some people, when they think about getting on the internet and worry about counterfeiting, they worry about fake products. Uh, underselling them when they're not the real thing. How do you deal with that? How do you reassure them? Like any entrepreneur, when you start a business, you start to worry, and the people around you worry much more than you do. When I start Alibaba, my parents worry, my wife worry, my friends worry, my teachers worry, my students worry, everybody worry. And they worry about a lot of things. The only thing that I worry, I should not disappoint the people who believe in me. Um, we have a lot of things people worry. Well, you know, when we start Alibaba, say, hey, you don't have a payment, you don't have a trust. People do not believe in online, they believe in face-to-face -face meeting. And government does not support internet, nobody supports e-commerce. How could you do it? Counterfeit things, of course, there are a lot at the beginning, but you have to fix it. So in the past 15 years, we spend a lot of time because you have to make sure the customer feels safe happy, the brand of you happy. And today, more than 100,000 brands partner with us. We are the company online today, the leader on anti-counterfeit and IP protection. By year 2036, we will be the fifth largest economy of the world, so all, all of the world. Everything they place on the line, within 72 hours, they will receive it. So this is our vision, that the, the, our business needed, we do it. We do it not because, as I said, we do it not because there's money. We do it because it is necessary. Focus your customers, make your customer happy is important. Most of the American companies, internet companies failed in China. One of the reasons is that they spend too much time on making their boss happy, rather than their customer happy. So. As the entrepreneur, always number one priority is customer and employee. What's your role at the company? You've given up the CEO position to Michael Evans. You're traveling the globe all the time, preaching the Alibaba story. When I retired from CEO position, I told my CEO and team, I'm still learning to be a chairman. I should have more free time to play golf. I fly 870 hours in the air last year, and this year, 1,000 hours. Three things. The first thing I would do is, I would make sure our company mission and vision-driven company. I remember there was a guy called David Wong. He was working for a Fortune 500. He said, Jack is a crazy guy. A company has no business model, no money, and talk about the mission, vision, and valley. I say, David, come to my company. So I came to China, spent three days in my company. When they he leave, he said, Jack, I found you are crazy. Now I found 100 crazy guys in your company. They all talk and seem like you. For the first three years of Alibaba, we had a no revenue, no business model. And I told the team, forget about the money revenue today. If you want to be a long-term company, 
the only thing to think about is customers. The best revenue for our first three, one or two years is the email of thanks. If the customer sends you an email saying, you are great. I was so happy early days when I went to a small restaurant, people would pay my bill with a small note to say, Jack, thank you very much. I know you don't know, do not make money, but we made a lot of money through your website. <laughs> I like that. Even now today, I had a lot of customers, they, uh, they pay me uh, something, you know. It's not a bribery, but, yeah. and I want to keep this culture in the company, keep on going. The, the world changes so fast. You know, the, the artificial intelligence may take a lot of jobs away. If we do not innovate enough, if we do not spend enough time and uh, giving simple, easy products, application, technology for small business, most of small business cannot survive in this 10 years of life. So what does small business need to survive? The small business, no matter where you are, if you do not try to globalize your business through internet, you may not have a business opportunity. Your products, your chocolate, people in your village already know about the tongue in your village. But the people in China, they never know. They love these things. So think about it. how can you sell your products across the board. This is, I think, can face. Yeah. The world can be great, can be pro prosperous without you. When you die, people cry for three days, or maybe less than three days, they forget you. So build up a good system for your team. Yeah. It strikes giving me, chance for them. It's that part of you is always a teacher. I mean, you're teaching tonight. You're telling about my experience. I was trained to be a teacher, and I benefit because I don't know know anything about technology, computing. I still puzzle about what is. I do not know about you know accounting, marketing. I know very little about that. And I believe one thing. I'd give my advice to all of you as an entrepreneur today. It's very difficult. And tomorrow is even more difficult. But the day of tomorrow is very beautiful. Most people die tomorrow even. <laughs> you have to work hard. You have to learn. You have to rely on your team. That's my business.